Hello, everyone. Welcome to another UNO you know learning video. In today's video, we're going to learn adjective clause. What is an adjective clause? An adjective clause or relative clause is a type of dependent clause that works to describe a noun in a sentence. It can function as an adjective, even though it is made up of a group of words instead of just one word. In the case of an adjective clause, all the words work together to modify the noun or pronoun. For example, the flowers that we picked up last week have died. Here, the adjective clause that we picked up last week describes the noun flowers. Next, my friend who has glasses wasn't at school today. The adjective clause here, who has glasses, describe the noun my friend. Let's look at the components of a relative clause. They are dependent clauses, which is a group of words that consists of a subject and a verb, yet it is not a complete sentence that can stand alone. They generally start with a relative pronoun, but it can be omitted also. They provide additional information about the noun and they come after the noun they describe. Let's look at this. Adjective clauses begin with a relative pronoun, which connects them to the word they describe. Relative pronouns include the words that, where, when, who, whom, whose, which, and why. Once you remember the relative pronouns, it's easy to pick out an adjective clause in a sentence. For example, chocolate, which many people adore, is fattening. What is the relative pronoun here? Which? People who are smart follow the rules. What is the relative pronoun here? Who? Each of the adjective clauses begins with a relative pronoun. This connects it to the noun being described which comes directly before the relative pronoun in the sentence. Let's look at this. Each adjective clause also contains a subject and a verb, all of which work together to describe the original noun being modified. For example, let's look at the sentence. Chocolate, which many people adore, is fattening. Which many people adore, which is the clause, contains the subject people and the verb adore. Yet, it is not a complete sentence by itself. Instead, its job is to provide more information to describe the noun chocolate in the sentence. And that is why it becomes chocolate, which many people adore, is fattening. We have two types of clauses. Essential clauses and non-essential clauses. Let's first look at essential clauses. For cases where the sentence wouldn't hold the same meaning without the clause, the adjective clause is called an essential clause. For example, I don't like children who eat ice cream with their hands. In this case, the adjective clause gives essential information to describe which children the speaker doesn't like. If you got rid of that clause, the sentence would simply say, I don't like children, which is very different from not like messy children who eat with their hands. One quick way to pick out an essential clause is that an essential adjective clause does not require any additional punctuation. Let's look at non-essential clauses. A non-essential adjective clause, on the other hand, gives an extra description that is not strictly required to understand the writer or speaker's intent. For example, the kitten, which was the smallest of the litter, finally found a foster home. In this case, the adjective clause gives extra information, but it isn't necessary to get the gist of the sentence about the cat finding a home. 
Non-essential adjective clauses are set off with commas to show that they aren't as strongly connected to the rest of the sentence. That's it for today's video. For more personalized live IELTS classes and affordable prizes, you can log on to www.unolearning.com. You can also register for our online English speaking courses for working professionals, teenagers, kids and homemakers. Thank you.